Konnichiwa YouTubers, it's Red Stock straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Generations Titans Return Hyper Fire and Blur. Let's take a quick look at the box and I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of Transformers Generation because it reimagines the G1 guy and this guy in this time. It is Blur with Headmaster Hyper Fire and another gimmick that I really, I never had a chance to play as, as a kid but yeah, here's a side of it. And that headmaster gimmick, I like it. And as you can see, it has quite a... Well, it's a headmaster. Okay, it's supposed to be interchangeable if need be. Here is the back. Now that headmaster gimmick. And there is Hyper Fire. And let's take a look. He's supposed to be a pilot. That's good. Uh, let me see anything in the bottom. Nope. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look. And I can get the size comparison right out of the way. There it is with Bumblebee. This is R.I.D. Bumblebee, Robots in Disguise. As you can see, it's a deluxe class figure. Comes with an instruction, and one thing I really like, it's taken from the Japanese, so I'm glad people do this nowadays, is the stat card. I like this. Only thing is, I don't like is, well, not the most powerful or brawny person. His speed should be off the charts, but it is only at 14. I mean, his name is Blur for crying out loud. I know that's what he was known for in the G1 series, but okay, I'm not here to point out continuity errors. I'm here to go ahead and review this, and indeed I will. One of the things is, I wish this dude had more paint. Now, you get this little powder blue, gray, you know, teal blue, like the red on his shins, but man, it, it could use more paint. After all, what I'm looking at is just a bunch of blue. Nothing bad in of, of itself, but it could use a little bit more. But his face sculpt is on point. No light piping because of the headmaster, and I am fine with it. I like the little metallic glint on the blue too. Not bad. Uh, I like this figure. Well articulated, as you can see. I have the front of it, his hood of it of his car or alt mode for that matter as a shield you can pop it off i just like it because if you want to put that gundam pose by all means do so and yeah go ahead and just pop it in see these little slots right here it does come popped off already when you open the package so yeah it's not supposed to be but as far as articulation the head is kind of on a ball joint you have a swivel at the shoulder, another swivel, so you get two points of articulation there. Bicep swivel, another swivel at the elbow, and the hands are also on a swivel. And notice the big 5mm port, which he has in a few areas right there. So, not bad. Waist is at a swivel, ball joint at the hip, swivel at the thigh, another swivel at the knee. And the ankle kind of pivots, but I'm not going to include it. It's more for transformation and the fact that it can stand up. So yeah, and also like the gun, like the gun. A little two-tone. It has a little issue there with the coloring, but eh, no big deal. One thing I notice is this is a tight figure. So I don't know if your figure is uh, tight, but man, it is tight in some points, and I can't really transform them nearly as well. Let's go ahead and put them in out mode. First thing we're going to do, remember, I'm going to, um, okay, we're going to open up the legs. We probably should have put the ankles up first, and that's okay. And there's this little port right here, which is pretty useless in my opinion. There we go. Yeah. Go ahead and, and we're just going to fold these up. And if you like. Pop up his head and I'll transform Hyper fire here in a second and it's a one-step transformation. So don't expect humongous things about that All right, so we're going ahead and Close that up and Snap it in. Okay, so that's the front or actually the back And you have this cannon which I am NOT a big fan of it's a little darker than the regular blue I don't know if you can tell from this lighting, but yeah and I'm not a big fan of it. I'm going to open up the canopy, pop open the okay, the seat, and we're going to put Hyperfire there in a minute. We're going to unpeg 
the shoulders and that's going to go neatly like this and put that up and then this piece will go over the hand and that pegs in right there very neat I like the engineering on that so we're going to unpeg turn the arm around and there we go I just go straight in there and this one goes straight over and that all pegs in wonderful and last but not least just put this probably should have done that first there we go yeah and this peg right here goes into that peg yeah and that peg goes into that peg all right so transformation is almost complete I just got it Loosen it up a little bit so I can just snugly put it in there. There we go. Should have done all that first. Okay. Ooh. And just a force of that just popped over the canopy, which is just perfect because now I'm going to set this down. Oh, yeah. And the gun just goes underneath here. See that hole? It goes right here. Easy day. Look at that. And it just came out just perfect. Let's go ahead and make a transformation. One step transformation, really. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Not much of a head scope, uh, but his arms do move. So, yeah. Neat little tiny figure. And now he's going to be the driver. About an inch and a half. Tall, that is. And he just very nicely fits in the seat right there. It just works out. Just close the door. I think I can. There we go. Yep. So, I mean, the guy rolls. Uh, not a particularly good looking vehicle. Five out of ten on this one. Because to me, it looks mediocre. Look at it. It could use more paint jobs or something. But it looks so mediocre and so Cybertronian bad. Uh, molding is good. I w it could use more paint colors to break it up, or but just not good. And it has this. And if y'all can tell me what the heck that's for, because I mean I could put it upside down and it can st stand, sorta. Yeah, I mean, but what's that for? Anyways, it's okay. It's okay. 5 out of 10 in the alt mode, but a fantastic robot mode. I mean, that's where you display it as the robot. Definitely 8 out of 10. And you do have these 5 mil pegs, so you can definitely put the gun other than that. Kind of tight, but you can do it. Alright, YouTubers. That's all I got, and i catch you all next time.